Like it's reaching to the fence right there. It's a lot of water right there. Pretty sure. I think that's what we're getting them right now. Dang, dude, the 26 nosing them around right there, too. Today's the day that I've been dreaming about since last year. We finally get a chance to hunt teenager again. I didn't know if it would happen. We spent all summer in here trying to find his sheds and trying to find him. No luck. I don't know if he moved to private or if he just wasn't moving much. And we didn't have cameras in the right spot. We could not find him. We checked cameras just the other day and we found pictures of teenager. We've got a deer. What is it? It's a doe. spring I came in here looking for teenager sheds and doing some postseason scouting and I found this little oak flat right here next to the creek and it's a really neat spot because the creek kind of makes a 90 degree turn twice right here and it makes a little corner and then we came in here early this fall found some shoehorn trees and some post oaks and decided this would be a really good spot to hang a camera and see what kind of movement was in here with their 80 acres this fall the shoehorns didn't put off but the post oaks did and it is apparently a really good spot since we've had deer on us all morning long It's 
spots that historically we haven't seen anybody. Casey was saying it's good that we just haven't seen any human pressure, real presence in here at all this year. We've seen a lot of deer, but we've also seen a lot of humans. So I don't know what to do, but hopefully he'll go back where he came from, which is not where <laughs> the deer were coming from. So that's a good thing. I still have a little bit of hope as opposed to the last few times that this has happened. <laughs> goes you wish you were in a different tree sometimes you get lucky we weren't in a terrible tree by any means we were pretty high up real straight tree comfortable and had plenty of shooting lanes uh, could have killed pretty much every deer that came through this morning but we backed up here to a shoe mart that's back over here that we had looked at we call it the mama shoe mart it's the the big shoe mart in this little patch of oaks right here and there are shots out to like 65 in there so despite seeing a guy this morning walk in on us real close and obviously was hunting here i feel pretty good about this area we saw that kind of deer movement we don't see that here in texas on public very often we're going to come back in here probably uh, next week during the week when hopefully everybody's working give it another try we got a cold front coming in sunday so it sets up really nice on probably a northwest wind to come in here and smoke one of the big bucks has been used in this area. 